News about our neighbours now, Lesotho Prime Minister Tom Tabane reportedly wants to retire. He's said to have indicated this to President Sol Ramaphosa's envoy to Lesotho. The embattled Tabane has been at the helm there since June 2017, at this amid political instability and claims by police that First Lady Messiah Tabane is on the run. Now, Lesotho's communications minister, Tesele Masedebane, says constitutional processes will determine when Tabane actually steps down. Let's find out some more now from our reporter, Kaili Kumalo. Uh, Kaya, a very good evening to you. So, um, I mean, did we see this coming? Did Tom Tabane, do we know the reasons for, for his decision? Well, absolutely, Rebecca. I mean, look, the writing was on the wall for the Prime Minister. If you look at uh, the ABC, his party, some very senior members of the party were calling for him to step down. In light, of course, of the investigation where the police also had questioned him in light of uh, the killing in 2017 of his estranged wife, and also the current wife of the Prime Minister as well, has been at uh, the very center of this particular controversy surrounding the strange uh, wife's death. So even at this point, uh, the, uh, the, the prime minister's wife is still on the run. So Lesotho police have been looking for her, trying to question her. So now the, the report is uh, the prime minister had been requested to step down because uh, he was seen as a, you know an obstruction in terms of the investigation by Lesotho police. But of course, you figure this is someone who's a, a political heavyweight in terms of Lesotho's uh, politics. He has been uh, down and out, but he always manages to resurface. But this time around, it appears as if uh, all just uh, odds are stacked against him. Mm. Kaya, do we know, I mean, you, you mentioned that he, he's been accused of, of interfering in the investigation. Any idea what he's alleged to have done? Well, I mean, when you go back to 2017, uh, the circumstances, how the former wife died and how apparently uh, what is seen or purportedly uh, to be the prime minister's cell phone was seen uh, and allegedly used around the scene where uh, the actual killing uh, was uh, uh, orchestrated. So it's raised a lot of questions. Uh, so hence, uh, Lesotho police were questioning uh, the prime minister and trying to ascertain a lot of information. But of course, uh, you've we know that uh, Sadiq has been playing a very pivotal role in trying to mediate in the situation in Lesotho. The current president of South Africa was uh, a mediator in Lesotho, trying to manage uh, the conflicts there, uh, going back to 2014, where there was an attempted coup. But obviously, the Sadiq mission now that was in Lesotho was trying to oversee the reform process uh, that was very clear, calling for the depoliticization of uh, the army among other reforms, but also just in terms of uh, the prime minister's office uh, to be able to uh, discharge uh, his responsibilities fairly and, of course, without being too attached to any, uh, you know, security forces. So now that he has, uh, has said what he'd like to do and, and he's made it known uh, to our president, what needs to happen now? So now we just await uh, the constitutional process uh, to determine the way forward. Uh, that's where the date will be announced for the official retirement of the prime minister, the, the phrasing that they prefer. So they don't want to say he resigned. Uh, they say he retires, which is a very uh, interesting uh, argument in this particular case. But also, more importantly, he wanted to assure South Africa, you know, that Lesotho only knows one neighbor, South Africa. So they wanted to make sure that there's a very smooth transition. So it appears as if ABC will continue uh, to lead uh, Lesotho. It's a coalition government uh, led by so many parties, but also uh, former energy minister of South Africa, Jeff Khadebe, and uh, the deputy minister of state security, Zizigoto, had gone to Lesotho to hear the prime minister's intention to retire. They had a meeting also with uh, the king of Lesotho to really just try and make sure that uh, they understand exactly what's going on. And uh, we believe that also former Minister Hadebe indicated that South Africa is always willing to offer any particular assistance. So Maseru will have to cry out and Pretoria will act speedily. Kaya, is this likely to throw Lesotho into turmoil? I mean, the, the kind of turmoil we saw a couple of years ago uh, when we saw uh, just what had happened there to, to bring the current government about. Well, the city is a very interesting country, Yuvak. I mean, you go back to the 80s and also...
also in the early 90s, uh, they've had coups and stuff. So it's uh, it's just a lot of people, you know, they use a very interesting phrasing. They always say it's one of the troubled uh, children of the SADC region. So it's one of the most stable regions in Africa where it's not really coup prone, but in Lesotho, you always have like these political uh, standoff uh, from time to time, but it's really hard to tell as to what's going to be the impact of this. So we're all just going to wait and see uh, post uh, the retirement, then we're going to see the outcome. All right, thanks very much for that, Kalisha Kamala.